Three, two, one. Y'all know what time it is. Y'all know what time it is. Y'all know the time is changing on Sunday. It's about to get dark early. And you know what time it is. It's scary hours. Because you know that Memphis Tiger basketball season coming back. And of course, they have released the non-conference schedule for the Memphis Tigers and let's review it. You know, this this came out of left field. You know, I'm I'm a couple days late. But I'm looking at I'm looking at the a couple games. Hey, I'm rocking with it. I see it. Let's go. And uh listen. Shout out to Penny. Man, I know he's been going through a lot, you know, with the coaching staff. Uh I've heard that he's fired. Well, I don't know if he's fired, but I heard that seven coaches are not on the team no more. And, um, you know, I feel like with, with the Tigers, we need transparency. You know, we need coaches that can stay. I like I like Rick Stanberry. I feel like he could recruit, he could coach. And if and if there was a uh if there was a chance that Penny left Memphis, I feel like Rick Stanberry would have become the coach. But I guess that's not the case no more. And that's cool. You know, that's cool. But uh, we still got to keep the ball rolling, you know, because the Tigers are here. We're coming off of a tough, tough season last season. You know, we started the season off great, ended the season off horrible, which ultimately resulted in us not making the tournament. After Penny made the tournament twice in a row. But we're not here to talk about that, y'all. It's a new beginning, and the Memphis Tigers is back. You know what I'm saying? The Memphis Tigers is back. The Grizzlies about to be back. Memphis basketball is back, and it's it's getting scary out here. It's getting scary out here. That's that's all I can say. All right. So, listen. Let's let let's go through some of these. Let's go through some of these uh these teams now. Now shout out to Penny for not scheduling Lamar and Owen for not scheduling CBU. For not scheduling North Alabama, listen, it's cool. that Those teams are cool. You know, hey, hey, practice is always good. But listen, we got an exposition game October 15th against UNC at the Forum. Let's go. <laughs> hey, you got to clap that up. Hey, you got to clap that up for the one time. You know what I'm saying? This is what I'm talking about. This this is what we need. You know, Memphis, there's talks about Memphis going to the Pac-12. And, and this is a new beginning. Listen, we're not playing these little teams in the exposition no more. We got to play Louisville. We got to play North Carolina, Arkansas, uh, Kentucky. And Coach Cal, I see you ducking. Because we played Arkansas last year, and I see Arkansas is now on the schedule. Man, hey, when is Memphis going to play Coach Cal again? That's the hey. That, that, that's all I'm saying. We, we gotta play Coach Cal again. You know what I'm saying? Coach Cal's scary. He's scary. He he running. He running from the ground. He hey. At least hey. Mike Norvell. Hey. He got my respect. At least we played Mike Norvell, and he used to coach for Memphis. But Coach Cal dips off, and then he he act like he hey Memphis don't exist. All right, that's cool. That's cool. But listen, we playing UNC though, and uh, I'm gonna be there for sure. I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna take some video, uh, and everything, and. Hey, this is what I'm talking about, you know. Um, I'm not going to say we're going to win or lose because it's an exhibition. And, you know, I feel like Penny's going to be playing with rotations. We got a whole new lineup, whole new coaching staff. And things might look ugly, you know, but at the same time, we're playing UNC. And we get a chance to see how the guys play against a high-powered team like UNC. And that's what I'm talking about. That's what we need. We also have another exhibition match. Against Alabama in Tuscaloosa, which is another good exhibition. Uh, I might go. It's on October 28th. Depending on the day, I might have work. I might not. But hey, this is what I'm talking about. We this is this is what we need. And uh, well, I think it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be in a neutral court actually. 
So, okay, so yeah, I believe it's going to be on a neutral court. So let me know where, I, I, I got to see where that game is at. If the game is close, I might go. I might go, but we just got to see and see how it goes. But let me rub my hands real quick like Birdman. Because um, now we're getting to the schedule. Now, the schedule is uh it's good. You know, I feel like the, the our non-conference schedule last year was a little better. But I feel like, you know, Penny, you know, he's he, he's he making a little bit lenient. He's making a little bit lenient. But at the same time, we still going to have a chance to play some big powerhouse schools. So, listen, we open up the season November 4th against Missouri. And last season, we uh <laughs> we ran them off the court in Missouri. So, I believe that's going to be a win. Missouri is a good football team. Basketball, eh, you know, but... Still a big program and, you know, a game that we need to be focused on. I think after coming off the two e exhibitions between uh, UNC and Alabama, I think it's, um, you know, Missouri is a good first game to do. So I feel like we're going to win that game at the Forum. And uh, I feel like the Forum is going to be lit, especially that first Tigers game. You know, I'll definitely be there and support them. Then we go to Las Vegas. Tigers going to like LV, you know what I'm saying, playing potentially a future conference uh, opponent in UNLV, which is also a game that I believe that we'll win, you know, but it's still a, hey, I still like the schedule that, you know, we, we go from Memphis to LV, you know, I like that. And then we play Ohio, you know, that's, this is kind of random, you know what I'm saying? Ohio is a um, G5 school, um, you know, I don't really know too much about the basketball team. I really kind of hear about them just only in football, but cool, you know, cool G5. You know, it's not North Alabama or nothing, so we still can't overlook them. We still got to play them, you know, be focused and play them. And then, wow, we go to San Francisco. So we really, like, hey, like, I feel like the, the Tigers are really – Memphis out west. <laughs> Memphis out west, man. Hey, Memphis out west. So we, so we go – so we go to LV – Come back to Memphis, play Ohio. Then we go to San Francisco, Cali. And we got to play the WCC uh, team, San Francisco. Uh, they make they make the tournament. They've been making the tournament lately, so we got to watch out for this game. I don't think we ever played San Francisco, so this is kind of a toss-up game here. Uh, I'm not – I'll never bet against my guys, you know, but, you know, that's definitely a toss-up game, so – I feel like we'll. I feel like Missouri, UNLV, and Ohio are definite wins. San Fran, I don't know, no, but we can still do it. So, but I put it as a win, you know. So that's four and zero right there. So then after that, we go to a neutral site to Maui, and of course, they they hate Memphis. So of course they're gonna schedule us against Villanova. But you know what? I'm ready for the test. You know, I'm ready for the test. And, you know, Memphis hasn't played in the Maui Invitational in a little minute. And I think it's I think it's it's time. You know, it's time. Did they play last year in the Maui Invitational? I don't, I don't think so. But, listen, we played Villanova, who won back-to-back -back championships. And that's going to be tough. That's going to be tough right there. You know, but if, hey, if I, if I was to do a coin top, toss, you know, I don't know. That's that's gonna be a hard win. It's gonna be, a, but if we win, that'll be a great win. But if we lose, you know, kind of kind of expected. But hey, that that'll be four one right there. All right. Now, I feel like we can go into the Maui like losing one, you know. So I think that'll make us like six one, you know. So then we go to La Tech. We come back to Memphis after the Maui. After going to San Fran, Cali, and Maui. Uh, where is Maui? Hawaii. We come back to Memphis and we play Conference USA. I believe LA Tech is in Conference USA. We play Conference USA team LA Tech. Um, we should beat them. You know that should be a, a, a solid win. And then we play another. Uh, then we play Sun Belt team in our rival Arkansas State. So I see that, you know, Arkansas State, we've been scheduled in football. Now they're trying to schedule us in basketball. You know, that's cool. But at the end of the day, you know, Memphis, we big dog. So, you know, a W right there. So it's at eight and two. And then we travel to Clemson. Hmm. We travel to Clemson. That's going to be a good. This is this is going to be a good game. I got a couple Clemson guys that follow me. Shout out to them. And, uh, hey, that's, that's going to be a good game right here. 
you know, playing that Clemson, that would be a great win. I know that would be a quiet one game, you know. So, so these, I ain't going to lie, this this stretch right here, we go to Clemson, and then we go to Virginia. Like, these, these two games are going to be tough. I ain't gonna lie, these two games are going to be tough. So I so I got us what eight and two right now. Clemson and Virginia, I feel like we might lose one, win one. You know, so what that make us nine and three. So nine and three. And then we play Mississippi State. And I believe the Mississippi State we played them last year. No, we didn't play them last year. Did we? Nah, nah. But yeah, I feel like we can beat Mississippi State in Memphis. And we got to get the revenge on Ole Miss. We have to get the revenge on Ole Miss. There's no way that they beat us and we were up, like, the whole game. You know, they came back and I think they beat us. And that was tough last season. But Ole Miss ended up having a pretty good season. I don't know if they made the tournament. I can't remember. But but this, hey, this is a good non-conference schedule. I feel like it's – actually, this is – this might be better than last year because last year had the North Alabamas. We did have those real low teams, like those, you know, those teams that they are super low, but we had some real high teams that we played against too. But I ain't going to lie. I feel like this schedule might be a little bit harder than, than last schedules, last year's schedule. So I'm just, I'm glad to see, uh, I'm glad, I'm glad that we're back in basketball season. You know, it's scary hours in the in the city and the Tigers are ready to make noise. You know, I'm just eager to see what they do and how they perform in the conference and getting back to normal, you know, getting back to making tournaments and hopefully going on a run. But, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see P.J. Uh, Haggerty and, uh, and Tyrese Hunter and, you know, all the new guys that we got. I'm excited to see uh, Jordan. I think Jordan is the only person that came back on the squad, but. I feel like he's a he's a growing piece, you know, and, and I think it's his senior year this year. So, Jordan, I need you to turn up, get them rebounds, you know, just hoop and just do do what you do. But man, I'm excited for this team, and I wish, man, I wish, oh my God, if David Jones would have stayed back, bro, I feel like we would have been a top like 15 team, top 10 team going into this season. But that's cool, that's cool, David Jones, you know. You you playing for the 76ers, and I feel like he's gonna have a good pro career. You know, I feel like he just needs a chance and a uh you know a chance to to turn up. So man, it's all around the M. Y'all know what time it is. Memphis basketball. We're back. And yes, sir. Let's get it. Hopefully we'll be in the Pac 12 in the in, in a couple weeks. But uh I keep you guys updated and I'm gone.